Chaos protests Uju Undubisi Chuku's murder in South Africa. In business, inflation rate drops to 11.22% in June, and that's according to MBS report. And on the foreign scene, South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma, claims being a victim of conspiracy. Hello there, and many thanks for joining us on Super Screen Sparks of Blues. Broadcasting to you live from Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, I am Adinike Uwoye Ajiboye. And on the news and details. A group of lawyers have staged a peaceful protest to demand an investigation into the death of a prominent Nigerian identified as Uju Undvisichuku, who was alleged to be murdered in South Africa. The concerned lawyer staged the protest at the South Africa's embassy today in Victoria Island, Lagos. A super screen's precious Mayu tells us more in this report. Since 1994, Nigerians in South Africa have been faced with xenophobic attacks. Until date, these hate killings have continued without any sign of it abating. This is because on June 14, 2019, another prominent Nigerian, Uju Undubusi Chuku, who is the Deputy Director General of Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria, was killed. In South Africa, this is a protest by some legal practitioners over the alleged murder of the Deputy Director General of the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria, Uju Undubisi Chuku, in South Africa. Now, Undubisi's death came at a time where the federal government put the number of deaths of Nigerians in South Africa at 127. They cannot treat our people as paupers in South Africa. Nigerians are not beggars in South Africa. Nigerians are, are, not, are not hopeless people in South Africa. They need us more than we need them. They have multi-billion dollar investments in Nigeria. And they say that our boys are competing with, our people are competing with them in their business. What a very, very shameful, shameful reason from a country like South Africa that Nigeria contributed immensely towards their emancipation, towards their growth, towards their, their, their freedom, towards their, their, their development and civilization. We are calling our South African president. They should look into this issue. If it should continue again, we should tell them, Oh God, that they don't have monopoly of violence, that Nigeria still rise and we make life unbearable for them in Nigeria. For these protesters, they insist that the South African consulate must react to the latest killing. Our demand is number one, he was strangled based on their autopsy report. By who? The most investigate and let us know exactly what happened. And on the other hand, Nigerian government through our uh, Diaspora Commission have gone in the right and said that natural deaths. How do we reconcile these issues? So I think that we must wake up. A stone in the market could fall on anybody. And nobody knows who is next. This is a woman that left the shores of Nigeria as part of a government delegation to attend an AU conference. She's not resident there. If this can happen and nothing is done. Tomorrow, he might be a diplomat. The way the South Africans are taking this matter appears to us not to be quite um, satisfactory. Up to today, the, the, the hotel where she lodged, I still telling us they have not been able to release the CCTV camera. Does it mean that the police are not interested in the investigation of this matter in South Africa? If the police are really interested in the investigation in South Africa, by now they would have requested the hotel to produce the CCTV, to play the CCTV, so they can be able to know what exactly killed this woman. This is the woman that is on national assignment. The Nigerian government must rise up to the call of her people to protect us. The Committee for Nigerians in Diaspora should act, and the action is now. There can't be a tomorrow. It doesn't matter who is hot. As it is now, it doesn't matter. We have businesses in South Africa. Our businesses in South Africa is hurting. They have theirs here. And we have allowed their businesses here to thrive. Nobody has a monopoly of violence. As minute heat hours, the South African authorities ignored these angry protesters. While there has been no response from the South African authorities in the South African consulate here in Nigeria, Nigerian authorities say they are on the situation. It has been investigated, and if anyone is found guilty, it will be prosecuted. 
But these lawyers say they want justice served and justice served immediately. Precious Amayo, Super Screen News. And in 